right so registration limit threshold <coughs> first we'll take regular dealer right so the original draft law, law says that uh, for northeastern state okay those seven sisters plus assam the it said that you know if you are uh, if you are turnover aggregate turnover right now very important subject later on if i forget please remind me this aggregate it is it is very important for us to know because this aggregate turnover is going to now increase your business so if i forget to tell please remind me later right so and this way i can keep you people awake okay so north eastern says he says if your annual turnover is exceeding 4 lakh rupees then you have to register and if it exceeds 5 lakh rupees then you, you then the tax liability starts <coughs> rest of india it is 9 lakh rupees for registration and 10 lakh rupees for tax liability now composition scheme composition levy is the same thing either 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 5 lakh or 9 lakh but if your aggregate turnover for the year if it does not exceed 50 lakh rupees per year 50 lakhs right then you can opt for composition levy then we will discuss that what is this composition levy and you will see here increase to 10 lakhs so this is increased to 10 lakhs now and this is increased to 20 lakhs right so now this changes will now come in our second draft or the next uh, law which is going to come and those things will get updated okay transition of registration very simple all existing dealers who are registered in excise service tax vat you will have automatic registration called as a provisional registration so you will every dealer will be given a provisional uh, registration and there is a time period i think within 6 months they will ask for a lot of details and once you have provided all those requisite detail because now the state government and the central government has to update your kundli right so earlier vat fellow was uh, central government was not bothered about your vat information right so they you once you provide then you know you get up a, a proper uh, registration so that's how it is there so then you will get first is you will get a provisional registration then you will have the final registration okay now this is what i think uh, sir somebody you asked about the taxes okay so what are these taxes because we know that there are central taxation and there are state taxation so what are the central taxations no we have still not gone to gst we are still in the old era <laughs> excise additional duty of excise service tax surcharge right broadly see i have not taken every every uh, thing broadly just for us to get an understanding so all this fellow will go under gst right so what is gst full form Ah, oh, you have to stress the tests. <laughs> okay, services. Ha, huh. right. So when we say GST, GST broadly has three components. Okay, one is CGST. So what do you mean by CGST? Central Goods and Services Tax. Then you have SD, SGST. then we have one more igst what is i it is integrated not interstate integrated goods and services act these are the three components we will also understand how this these components are going to be applicable for your intrastate and interstate all those things we will and uh, i mean understand this thing so these are the see we, again we are saying though gst we, we are talking about single tax and all those things it is going to be dual taxation thing the center also has to tax to run the admin, I mean run the country state also has to charge tax to run the state right so that's why we have the cgst sgst okay so now <coughs> you see all these guys all the central taxations will get subsumed under cgst which is more or less still your central now let's come to the state taxes right so you have vat you have purchase tax entry tax octroi luxury tax entertainment tax charged by state probably movie tickets could come down 
right? So entertainment tax start by the thing, and then your luxury tax, and then you know we have uh, at least you know fortunately in Karnataka we don't have this additional tax or sur surcharge or cess. Other states have additional tax. Gujarat has additional tax. UP has additional tax. Uh, Kerala has cess. So these all these things surcharge cess. Everything is now going to get subsumed and under what? Simple logic, right? It will go under SGST because that is the tax state's revenue. So all this fellow will now get subsumed under SGST. What is left now? IGST. So what should be IGST? Interest rate sale, right? Interest rate sale, which is basically your CST and your CVD on your imports and all those things. So why CVD on imports is basically now that is considered as right so it is interstate right outside the state na? it is coming from outside the country right so you you get the input tax credit on the cvd and the special additional duty okay now these things get subsumed under igst right so now <coughs> we have this three fellows cgst we have this sgst and we have this igst all these three fellow put together is what we call it as gst clear okay okay now quickly we will just <coughs> run through the tax scenario under gst system right so we will we are taking this uh, just this is just an indicative uh, percentages we have taken right so let's take the example of a car and let us say the cost of manufacturing of the car by the manufacturer is 4 lakh rupees now he is going to charge excise this is the current thing okay current uh, regime so excise duty is 12 percent there is an infrastructure says of 1 percent and then the, the 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 excise duty comes to 52,000 right and now VAT needs to be charged by him so VAT is going to charge on what 4 lakh plus 52,000 so that comes to 56,500 now what is going to be the cost to the dealer i mean total invoice value to the dealer it is going to be 508500 508500 that is the money that he is going to now shell out to the manufacturer right now once he buys the car since he is a dealer he has to sell it right now when he is going to sell it what is going to be his cost 4 lakh is the basic cost plus the excise because he is not currently currently he is not able to take credit of 52000 so now his cost is going to be you can call it as a landed cost okay so his cost is going to be 4 lakh 52000 and let us assume that he is going to add a margin of 10% so he is adding a margin of 10% so that is coming to 45200 and now his sale price for the dealer is going to be 4 lakh 97200 okay now he is going to charge vat 12.5% 62500 right in VAT case we are very very clear this output VAT input VAT is going to do and balance is going to pay as a VAT liability right so now let us take the same scenario how it could probably look under GST okay so the same rate the cost of manufacturing is 4 lakh rupees now instead of charging excise duty or VAT and other thing now GST is going to be charged we have taken an estimated figure of 22 percent just to be on the higher side safer side <coughs> so 22 percent see whenever one more thing you need to remember that whenever we say gst 22 percent currently the uh, understanding is that it will it will be 50 50 which means the central part will be 50 percent and the state part is going to be 50 percent so when i say gst at 22 percent we will have to charge cgst at 11 percent sgst at 11 percent on 4 lakh rupees it is going to be and you will notice here it is this SGST is not charged on 4 lakh plus 44,000 but it is again charged on like how we charge today your Swachh Bharat says and uh, Krishi Kalyan says huh? whether whether Bharat is becoming Swachh or no we have to pay tax correct so si similarly it, it acts that there is no tax on tax element is eliminated right now what is going to be the dealer cost under GST it is going to be 4 lakh 88,000 now what is going to be his cost why because he can now take input tax credit across because he is part of the supply chain okay he is going to take credit of this 
and uh, he's not considering this so his cost is going to be 4 lakhs he is adding a margin of 10 percent 40,000 now his sale value is going to be 4 lakh 40,000 and he is going to charge GST same percentage so and now the price of the car paid by the customer under GST 536 now just by taking this example you will you will see that you know the, the, the final consumer is saving almost 4 percent of the cascading effect that is getting eliminated probably it can come down to 2 percent or it could go to 15 percent also it depends depend on what is the standard rate that they are going to fix or finalize it okay but yes this is how it gives us an inclination saying that how most of the segment or most of the industries apart from the service segment currently that what we envisage or what we see from the discussion that is happening on the tax rate it is going to be hit right otherwise it is going to be the benefit so this is what we were talking about one is it is simple taxation right? see the biggest problem that you have see why I am able to relate it to all of you is that you know even I was a tax consultant for almost 15 years right? one day God smiled on me and then he went and joined tally right so 15, 16 years and, and, and I am sure there are many of you who would have gone through the pain that I have gone through, right, no computers, right, manual and the day the trial balance is tallied, party that night, <laughs> correct, old memories are coming, right, <laughs> that was the struggle that we used to have, right, so I am able to relate it, so now you just, just see how much ever you go and tell that accountant in the company illappa ee accessible value ide adr mele excise ide adu eradru seri nin vat madaya and heladra avanu yen maadbeku anta ankoltana adhe maartane see now the problem is going to solve so that is what we are saying that gst is going to simplify taxation structure very simple right and it is removing the other part what we said it is removing the cascading effect right so we have now seen this through this illustration that how the cascading effect and tax on tax effect is getting eliminated the third part technology part hold on to your breath we will move forward then you will know only thing i hope is nobody is going to faint it faint from the chair right so the other one we were talking about is the increased revenue so one side definitely the, uh, the, the, the consumer is having a better deal now. Okay? So if you are planning to buy a car, you know what to do. Hanji, yes? I am coming. Ah, okay. Uh, that is a good question. Yeah, so I, okay, I, I do not have an example of IGST. Yes, it is a very relevant question. So now, okay, first let us understand when and how the CGST, SGST, IGST is going to be applicable because this is a one riddle, right? Now we do not know what is going to be applicable where, very simple. Everything is going to be applicable for every kind of sale. Only thing is you will be changing the label. So what is this label that you are changing? If you are supplying goods or if you are supplying services within the state, which is intrastate then GST is applicable, the, the component of GST is what? CGST and SGST, okay. If you are supplying the goods and services interstate, okay, outside the state, then what is going to be applicable? IGST is going to be applicable and the component of IGST is SGST, CGST, same thing. In IGST also you will have CGST component and SGST component in local CST also G, GST also you will have C, CGST and IGST only thing is we will have to now be careful so this is where now it becomes very important okay the, the, the destination based taxation system hmm. no difference because you are getting credit that you have to go and speak to our union finance minister. 
see the central see what see one very important thing that see very important thing that we have to understand what is that another major major thing that gst is going to uh, achieve right see today what is happening right now your your business transaction gets eliminated like for example manufacturer sells a material to the dealer right now because the dealer is not taking the input tax cre credit on the excise duty the chain okay the transaction chain is cut there now if he makes number 2 billing what will happen the government is going to lose money right so that is why the concept of the supply and at every point you pay tax if and you are in any case everybody is going to be eligible for claiming input tax credit you claim input tax credit and similarly the on value addition is what you are going to pay the difference amount as the tax okay now okay now we will have to understand the input tax credit adjustment right so we are talking about cgst sgst igst so the the law says very clearly that this is the order in which you can set off okay very important for us to understand right so if you take the cgst let us take the cgst part so you let us say you have the cgst itc is input tax credit that you are having for a given particular for a given month and uh, you now you have to set off this so what will you set off with first cgst simple logic right so whatever is my cgst li li i mean it input tax credit that i have first i need to set off this against my cgst liability okay then if there is anything further remaining then what can i do i can go and set off against my igst so you have to now understand this logic right cgst is c stands for central government even in interstate sale sorry uh, in the interstate sale cst though it is administered by state government but the revenue is shared between center and the state right so similarly so that's why it says even though the cgst is you have this input tax credit on your local cgst adjust your cgst if you have anything excess and if you have igst liability pay towards this because this igst and cgst is going to be central government money getting the point right so that's how it says that you need to adjust this next is it says sgst which is my just for us to relate it we can say this is my vat right so what the law says is that first adjust your S sgst input tax credit to your sgst liability right then if there is anything excess you have then you go and adjust towards your igst why igst because there is a shared revenue so internally they will do the adjustment okay so <coughs> this is the thing so what is left now igst so what can we think of igst how can we set up igst by understanding this logic first okay next cgst see that's why we says the law is very simple right so now if you see the igst the liability first set off against your igst i mean the itc of igst set off against igst liability then you set off against cgst liability and even after setting off your cgst liability if you have any excess igst remaining with you then you can go and set off against your sgst clear right okay now we will come to type of return so you have to tighten your seat belt right so this is where you know i mean like you know there will be some clouds in the po some pockets of clouds when you are flying now so you tighten your seat belt right so the regular dealer if you see what are the types of form that are going to be furnished by the regular dealers right so first is the gstr1 so what is this gstr1 gstr1 is a monthly form monthly i mean see all the returns for regular dealers okay it is going to be monthly return okay. <coughs> irrespective of turnover okay <coughs> so first form is the gstr1 and we need to understand this 
what is the relevance of each form and what information that we need to capture in each of this form is very important. So GSTR 1, it's a monthly, ret monthly uh, return you need to furnish and what is the due date? It is the 10th of the succeeding month. So when, when, when GST is going to be implemented? 1st of April? That is very important. You will have to say 2017. If you say 1st of April, then we don't know whether it is 18, 19, 20. <laughs> right. So 1st of April 2017. So on 10th of May, first return needs to be filed. Right. On or before? Our Indians, we have a kick in doing everything in the last minute. 30th September was the last date? Normally? How many of you have still not completed tax return? Because it is, uh, no, no, no I, I didn't ask how many of you have completed. I'm asking how many of you have not completed. All the hands will go up. Because we don't get the kick. 17th morning is what we get the kick. And by evening is what we will go to the peak of the kick. And then we will start blaming. This government server, I tell you, these fellows. 31st March, you are closing the books of account. They have already given you six months time plus 17 days. But still we have a problem in life. Right? So, 10th, on or before? So, let us know before, boss. All of us know. <laughs> All of us know there is no before. So, we will work for deadline. Right? 10th, of May, you are supposed to furnish your outward supply, no sales. Sales is now replaced by what? Outward supply. Supply is inward also. So by 10th in GSTR 1, you have to provide the outward supply. Right? Now, uh, one the old GSTR form, earlier we had how many forms? 1 to 8. Correct for all these stakeholders. Did anybody just open that? So that was made available publicly in 2015 uh, December. 2015 December it was made available. Did any one of you just open and seen it? Huh? Very good. Okay. Otherwise, you would have not come here today. <laughs> there are 14 to 15 parts to it that you need to capture. See, it is very important for us to understand. One is that, that we will discuss after GST implementation. <laughs> <laughs> sir, first Madhu Agli, sir. <laughs> right. So, see, it is very important for us to understand because, you know, see, anything that is going to come. When VAT was introduced, Karnataka form was what? Three-page form. But it took nearly six months for us to understand each box, right? And today, we are such an expert that instead of buying goods and selling goods, we are buying tax invoice and selling tax invoice. Because we have become so experts in 12 years. Right? But then, we will have to understand what are this components of this GSTR1. This is just, just, just the tip of the iceberg I am talking about. I mean, I, there is still a long list, Anumantan Bala Tarai Zaidu. Right, so what we have to understand is that, okay, these are the forms. What is this? What are the information that the department is asking? Right, and what components are there? This is what is going to now, actually, this is what I talk, told about the preparation. Right, you will now know, okay, these are the information that they are asking. And luckily, we have got little experience. See, with the introduction of this uh, nine, nine annexures. 910 annexes, right, in VAT. 910 annexes, more or less, we are able to catch all this info, capture all this information. And tax invoice number, tax date, commodity code in case of uh, interest rates, interest rate uh, sale, right, and the purpose of uh, interest rate sale. All this, if it is not captured, can you now upload the return? You cannot do it. So, I am saying it is good, it is it's, it's, it's God sent uh, blessing that in the last one, one and a half year, we have at least slightly got discipline. If this was not introduced, just imagine your life. It was a nightmare. Actually, it was easy. Now it is nightmare, right? 
अर्लियर तो वन फिगर पिकअप एंड देन फोन लिए ये स्टेप आ फाइंड ऑफ परसेंट फोर्टी नाइन ऑफ परसेंट आके पाक वड़ा पाव आको आई तो बट देन विथ इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ दिस बैट राइट सो वी 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 नाउ गोट इनटू द ट्रांजैक्शन लेवल सो इट ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम व्हाट हैपेंस इस नो इट बिकम्स पार्ट ऑफ योर लाइफ जस्ट अ सिंपल एग्जांपल व्हेन वी वर किड्स टू थिंग्स वी वर ऑलवेज अवर्स टू राइट वन इज ब्रशिंग आवर टीथ इन द मॉर्निंग एंड टेकिंग बाथ डेली राइट सो हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू हैव नॉट ब्रशड डेली when we were kid not today tomorrow is i mean i'm not asking last week or last month right when we were kids honestly how many of you i i i, I definitely many times i skipped taking bath daily brushing teeth right but then today ha huh? dant dant manjan <laughs> right so brushing teeth is not using brush <laughs> okay but today what is happening you see see over a period of time we got attuned to this right the practice and today you don't feel like getting out of your bedroom sometimes without brushing your teeth or taking bath so it requires preparation because preparation and practice is going to be the mother of experience very very important so how are you now going to handle this there are lot of other questions that i'm going to ask and it's going to be a huge high opener for all of you right we will come to that so one is this gstr 1 it needs to be submitted by 10th next is you have okay we'll I'll, i'll just come to this little later then you have gstr 1a and this is what is newly introduced which i said day before yesterday these are the day before yesterday now everything is available to you the rule is available the formats are available it is more or less it is going to be the final format more or less until if there is any change okay which is very rare right so gstr 1a i'll just come to this little later then you have this gstr 2 which which the dealer has to submit by 15th of the succeeding month what is the information that he will submit in the gstr 2 it is all the inward supply which is basically the purchases all the inward supply so this is nothing but gstr 1 is nothing but your sales annexure and the best part is this is your sales annexure of all three taxation put together which is excise and in the current regime if i am saying excise your service tax and your vat so there is going to be only one form whether you are providing i mean whether you are supplying service or whether you are supplying goods right it is going to be gstr1 because that's why i said it is very important that tomorrow morning you will have to go download first and then start opening and then start seeing what is the implication because this is going to really help you people to now prepare your client very important they have to you have to now wake them up and tell them see these are the information and how will you now structure their <coughs> financial accounting right such that you know these information are going to come easily for you because you know, you're not going to have time i'll come to that little later so by 15th you have to now give your all your inward supply right so by 10th i have given uh, outward supply by 15th i have given inward supply now if there is any missing element see today fortunately uh, even though you know the, the what the karnataka government said that you know with the introduction of this 9 10 annexures right now we can very easily find out how many guys are asking for output vat how many guys are asking for input vat the matching is going to happen right did any of your client get any notification saying that your input tax credit is going to be disallowed in karnataka any of your client got you are uh, you are shaking yes no no na no fear right now you have to match my outward supply with your inward supply if you are not matching then we have problem in life and if it is not matching you have to now <coughs> when you upload this on 15th right we have a next slide where we have given a uh, uh, simulation of the thing then we will understand better so when i when i submit my missing information here on 15th the 16th you have done gstr1 you have filed five bills for me but i am having six bills with me so one bill is missing you are not showing one bill 
I will add this and that one bill will come to you in GSTR 1A. Just see the complication. Eh? Today you have 1 VAT 100 and maybe maximum 4 annexure. Correct. And that too for uh, the annexure is not applicable for people below threshold limit. Some 50 lakhs. Below 50 lakhs. Here there is there's only one threshold limit for registration. Once you are caught, you are doomed. Right. So this whole thing is applicable. There is no, no threshold limit, nothing. Whether he is a small dealer who is doing 21 lakh turnover per annum or whether he is a big dealer who is doing 21 crore turnover per annum. Okay. All this information needs to be public. So you have given me 5 bill and I have now uploaded 6 bill saying no, 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 I am having 6 bill of you. So and I will upload that 1 bill. That 1 bill will come to you in GSTR 1. Are you people getting it? Now, next is, so this person, he is on 10th, he is uploading all his outward supply. So I have to now, so what happens is from 11th onwards, again we are all talking about the last day, right, it can happen on a minute to minute basis, it can happen on hour to hour basis also, right. So from 11th onwards, I will get, I will get all the sale information that is made to me in form 2A. Okay. That I will have to now sub, I mean adjust all those things and then by 15th I will submit GSTR 2 which means 5 bill he is given it will come here oh, all 5 bill I am having no problem in life then I will say ok then GSTR 2 you will submit so it is alright. So basically if you see this is your matching concept or this is your reconciliation, this is a reconciliation, this is your return and these are the two new things that has been introduced in the last two days. Okay. Pardon sir? You will ha, automatically it will come but somebody has to go and see whether this 250 bill is correct. Na? That is the challenge, biggest challenge that we have. Right? So next is, <coughs> once all this is, <coughs> once all this is done, then you have this monthly return, which is auto prepared by the GSTN, which is by the department. So based on your GSTR 1, adjustment in GSTR 1A, based on your GSTR 2A, adjustment in your GSTR 2A, GSTR 3 is going to be auto populated and it is going to tell you what is your tax liability and the chalan also will be prepared by the department right and then you can make online payment you can download with some limit you can download and then take the printout of the chalan and then go and pay it in the bank okay that much is life is easier but then it is not that easy yes big relief right <laughs> that is nothing but your aggregate values okay next See, I am I'm going to relate this whole thing in what should be your preparedness. I am going to connect this whole thing into what is going to be your preparedness, right. So next, this is again a new introduction, form GSTR 3A. So what is this form GSTR 3A? This form GSTR 3A is if you have not submitted your return on time, the notice is going to come to you from the department that is in the form. So everything now under GST is form. In fact, uh, your area of work form is also announced. Are you people aware of that? TRP, right? Tax return preparer, which is what you are all, right? Your forms are also available. Have you opened and seen your form? Because you have to submit, na? right? And there are seven, this is not provision. <laughs> Right. And you have seven types of form. And there is a rule for TRP. It says what you should do, what you should not do, what you can do, what you cannot do. Everything is available. Okay. So GSTR 3A is basically a notice to the registered taxable person saying that you have not filed your return on time. So which means, so you are, you are now just saying is, is this possible for somebody to do it manually or somebody to do it using Excel, Excel also. 
because you have to now do cross verification and you are uploading it on this portal and the portal is having your information now and they are now telling you that boss this fellow is pushing the sale this is your purchase no escape the great escape is gone right so because that guy is telling i have sold to you you cannot say no i did not buy from him unless you have a genuine reason and that is what is basically you are now going to reconcile modify all those things you are going to do ha huh. no problem no problem <coughs> you do it in the next month under gst very important thing under gst very important thing we all had the comfort of revise return avanu estu satti kelidrunu ee client 19ne tarikhu ratri 12 varege band kodtare yeno one figure aaki return aakaya aamale revise return nodana right now there is no revise return there is no concept of revise return in gst right any problem is there gst law says very clearly uh, the question that you have asked what happens if the bill is on 31st but i am receiving it on 5th that will be taken care yes sir goods and transit everything same thing same thing okay now again so there is one more thing that we need to do uh section chapter 4 section 16 to section 23 talks about time and value of supply all that is covered what happens to goods which is in air which is not at reached which is moved from here but then it is not reached there all those things all full detail is there okay now so quickly we will just go through this composition right? see one thing today in composition it is very very simple for us right one is it is quarterly return there is there is there is here so oh, i skip sorry right so then 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 you have this annual return which is how does it matter whether it is 31st december or no we are, we are going to wake up on 31st december 31st december of next year ha ah, to uh, yeah correct next fiscal which means 1st of april 2017 is what gst is going to be implemented then 31st december 2018 is what you will file your annual return 